there that Android is, this is working to for, push it further this is what with we are Exile waiting displays. For. Coming to the beta releases of 25Q3 as okay. a developer preview, okay. the desktop Windowing experience will be enabled on compatible devices Let's go. when connected Let's to an go. external display. When the phone is connected to an external display, the phone state remains the same Correct. and the new desktop session starts on the external display. Absolutely, that is what we want. The phone and the external display operate independently and Perfect. apps are specific to the Perfect. display on which they are running. When a desktop windowing enabled device like a tablet is connected to an external monitor, the desktop session is extended across both displays. Perfect. Perfect. They then function as one continuous system allowing windows, content, and cursor to move finally, freely guys, between finally, the two displays. Finally, we are getting this feature. Let's talk about Okay guys, so guys, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for, for like years now. Android is finally getting its official desktop mode and this is the, I mean, I don't know guys, this is the best thing ever. Finally, finally, I have made several videos complaining about the fact that our phones are so much powerful now, like just wasting your phones, you know, performance on just scrolling on social media, and, uh, you know, just wasting your time is just not worth it. Our phones are so much more powerful, so much more capable of doing so much more. It is it is capable of replacing your laptop, your desktop for most tasks. I mean, finally, we're getting it. Like, I've been advocating for an external desktop mode for many years now. I have made several videos on my channel showcasing the benefits of something like a uh, Galaxy or something like the Samsung DeX. And uh, I've made plenty of videos like using it as your, uh, you know, uh, desktop as a basic desktop like for web browsing, for uh, entertainment, for watching videos on the big screen, for watching your OTT apps on the big screen, for playing games, emulation without without any latency. So I've been talking about the desktop mode forever. And we've been waiting for an official desktop mode for many, many, many years now. Uh, if you don't remember, then uh, Google introduced the desktop mode with Android 10, okay? But ever since then, the desktop mode has, you know, been part of Android, but it's in a very broken state. It's the version that you find, you know, inside developer options where you can enable external desktop mode. It is that desktop mode. It was introduced mainly for developers, but then few brands like Samsung, uh, I think Lenovo and Motorola, they took that and built on top of it to make their official desktop mode. So Samsung had DeX, has DeX. Uh, Motorola has Ready4 or Smart Connect is what they call now. I think Huawei and Honor also have their own desktop modes. So a few brands did take advantage of it. Mainly Samsung and Motorola really, uh, you know, took it to the next level. But we've been waiting for, you know, official desktop mo mode for like many, uh, for many, for many years now. So I think with Android 13, with Android 14, there were always promises. There were always rumors and news that, you know, a desktop mode will be coming, a desktop mode will be coming. But yeah, it never materializes. But finally, with Android 16, I think uh, an upcoming, uh, some quarterly release, uh, this thing is going to be available for Pixel users. And I hope, I really hope that other manufacturers really implement it. It will be available as part of EOSP Android 16. So that is good. Uh, and as you know, Google has now taken Android development in-house. There is no, like, you cannot basically track the changes of Android. Uh, you know, as an open source because all the development will be done in-house and only when a new version of Android will be released, only then the source code will be published. So that is unfortunate, but Google has mentioned that this will be out as part of Android 16 AOS we build. So that is just fantastic. I really want, you know, other brands like OnePlus, Xiaomi, uh, you know, iQ, Vivo, all of these brands, I want them to implement this desktop mode. If Even if they don't implement it, I don't want them to like ignore it like at least i want them to update the uh, broken external desktop mode that is available inside uh, you know the developer options i hope you know the aos the build will just you know replace that with this whatever whatever google has brought to the table right now with this official build over here mm, yeah i mean uh, you guys just just think about it okay just think about it like you have your phone right our phones these days have great cameras a lot of people actually use phones for content creation like they would like rather buy phones 
than buying a dedicated mirrorless camera to create content. So imagine like if you have your phone with you and then you have, uh, you know, your applications, your video editing applications right on your phone and then you just plug your phone into a monitor and a keyboard and mouse and then you can sit at your desk and edit your footages, create content directly from your phone on your phone, you know, without having to deal with, you know, file transfers, having to or open like dedicated computers and laptops for that. I mean, think about it, like, on top of this, you know, Google is bringing the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Linux terminal. So AVF is going to be implemented, Android's virtual framework. So you can uh, boot up, uh, you know, ARM versions of Android. I mean, ARM versions of other operating systems uh, on your phone directly. So you can, uh, so Google is offering, currently offering Debian Linux support for it officially. And uh, they also promise a GPU acceleration, which is huge news. And uh, so... The, the bottom line is that nobody is stopping anybody from, you know, booting up uh, something like Windows on ARM on your uh, Android phone. So all these possibilities is coming. But what really ties all of this together and like provides you a built in or like all in one solution is the implementation of a desktop mode like this. So you have your phone, you have all your contents in your phone, you have your editing software on your phone. You plug your phone into your external monitor and uh, you can boot up your, uh, you know, virtual machine with your favorite desktop operating system. And the, the possibilities are endless. So I'm really happy that this desktop mode is going to be implemented and it is finally coming. Um, you know, this actually makes me want to purchase a Google Pixel 9a uh, because uh, that is going to get the updates and it is like uh, a decent Google Pixel for the price. So, uh, yeah, I really want to test this out. I really want to try it out. I really want to purchase a Google Pixel 9 right now. But yeah, like, you know, definitely other manufacturers should work on it, should implement this uh, for their uh, respective skins. It would be a massive, a massive value added feature. Trust me, guys. And I've also told you uh, previously that, you know, uh, implementing a desktop mode like this, like in your real world, isn't even that expensive. Like you can get a... You know, a 20, I think you can get a 22 inch monitor, a 24 inch monitor even, uh, you know, 100% sRGB with a high refresh rate screen, like for like how much? For like under 6,000 rupees. And you can get a keyboard and mouse for like, uh, you know, six, 700 rupees. And you can have a dock for like a USB HDMI uh, dock for like what? Like for 800, 900 rupees, like 1,000 rupees maximum, right? And, you know, basically, you know, under 8,000 rupees, you can build yourself a dedicated desktop setup for your smartphone. Like, you just come and plug your phone in and you're ready to go. Like, truly, like, this is this is super exciting. If you haven't never used a desktop mode, then uh, you would not uh, realize the, you know, the convenience of this feature. But you can watch some of my videos with Samsung Dex and uh, where I showed the different use cases of Samsung Dex, then you would realize. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video, guys. Uh, finally, seeing an official, uh, you know, Android desktop mode is, it's it's really amazing. Like I've been waiting for so many years now. So yeah, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And do let me know what you think about this video and what you think about the Android desktop mode. Are you looking to looking for such a feature or not? Uh, do let me know. Comment down below. And uh, yeah, a lot more videos are coming on the Xiaomi 15. You know. So stay tuned for that and uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.